We are going to make the opening for the tissue basket. So I have the base done with the 21 inches going vertically and then the alternating the 25 and the 16s to make the filled in base. I did go through and I really um, emphasized the halfway marks on these pieces and especially um, uh, a couple of here because it says to work with the three center spokes and that would be the middle is right here, halfway through, right in this right spot. And then the other two on either side are the ones you're gonna be working with, including the one that's underneath here as well. So you need to make sure you're doing that. So you've got four, oh, sorry, three below and three above. So your center one, right on that center mark that you had, you might have to lift it with something, but what you're gonna do, right on that center mark, on that center spoke, you're just going to cut it. So you can see I've just cut it right there. And then the one on either side of that, the pencil marks go the other way, so you're gonna actually cut them. And it's okay to kind of lift and go this way. You're gonna cut them right on the center marks. A little tricky, but... Okay, so we cut, get this one. So those are cut, the center one and the ones on either side. Now what you can do is kind of get this out of the way a little bit because you're gonna need, it didn't cut the whole way through. Kind of important. <laughs> okay, so they kind of need to be out of the way a little bit because what you need to do, oops, that's right, is this also right here needs to be cut. So I'm now on the ones underneath the three centers. Here's the middle one again. So I'm going to cut that one and then I'm going to cut these two. They're already cut. So. Okay, so these two here in the center, you can pull those down. So they line up or they're just slightly below the row that you're, that you're here. So here's your center one. I've moved away this one out of the way because just so you can see. And I've just pulled those ones down. What I'm going to do is these ones. Here's the, the center going across horizontally. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over. <coughs> And then those two pieces are going to come in here and, and out of the way here. Okay, so they're going to come here. Oops, look at this one. And come between those ones. I am really struggling with this one here. So they're kind of out of the way. So there's the, the other two that you cut. Okay, These two are going to come back and fold right here against those like that. Okay, And get them out of your way. And what's going to happen is you're going to you're going to cut these right down the middle as close as you can to get to where they ended. So now you have two pieces for either one. And these are going to go, it's called a chicken foot, and they're going to go underneath these two right here. So they kind of spread out and make a V. I'm going to cut them a little bit shorter. I don't want them to stick out. So I'm just gonna eyeball where they are and where they will go and cut some of the ends off. And then if you just lift up this one here, it's gonna tuck under and make sure you get it fully here so you, your tissues don't 
right against this piece where it starts to pull it the whole way. And again, make sure it's all the way over. So there's your, your one chicken foot. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here with this one. Oops, got to cut them first. Make them a little bit shorter. Work in the opposite direction, so. And I'm gonna tuck them under here. Make sure that's pushed up so there's no piece hanging out to catch the tissue when you put the box in. So there's your, now that's gonna be the top. That's what you're gonna see on the top, these chicken feet you're gonna see on the top. So we're gonna go back to the base on the wrong side of where we were. And these one here, the one on either side of the center one, now what you're gonna do now is pull these up so you have enough to bend over and tuck in behind this second one. So here's the one that's gonna fold against. And kind of be careful because you don't, once you make the bend, you wanna make sure it folds really tight against this piece here. And then that piece is just going to tuck. And again, I'm working the opposite direction I normally would. And this one decided to fray on me because of all the cutting I was doing. Okay. And this tucks right in there. And you can see that the end has shortened here. And that's okay because I pulled it up to make it long enough to fold under. So you're going to do that with those other three. You've got one here you've already done, this one on the other side of it. We're going to pull it down. So when you bend it, it's long enough to fold and tuck under the second one. This one also frayed. Again, make sure you push it right against this row here because this is where the Kleenexes will come out and if it's hanging over at all, um, it will catch them. If you see that when you're bending them, again, pull this one up. So when you fold it, it will go underneath that one. Um, <clears throat> when you are, when you look at this, if you see you have any little frayed edges sticking out of there, you can always trim those up because they will also catch the Kleenex as they're coming through. So you wanna make sure that you have that. I made sure it's tight against that. One last piece. So it's long enough to bend over and tuck underneath this one. really well. Now you can kind of straighten out your spokes because I know I've leaned against them. My body has moved some. You notice so I have the corners closed pin to help keep it moving too much. But I've got my opening now and you're ready to start doing your twining.